Happy Sunday. It's Ding the Bell. Welcome to my world. Come on in. Um, thank you for coming uh, and welcome to Sunday. Come on in. I think it's kind of late tonight, but at least we made it. I thought I was going to have to do this over. I think it's called a mulligan in golf or cross country. I'm not sure. Um, something is a mulligan. Anyway, it's not a mulligan. Today was going to start out in my kitchen. I was going to introduce you to the chickens. That is not happening. Um, I was actually going to be going to church, but I decided I'm not ready. And happy Easter. I hope you all enjoyed your Easter. And I have forgotten my glasses, so there is no way I'm going to see my computer screen tonight. Oh, let's have a drink of water. Anyway, welcome to my world. My name is Colleen Liz Frost, and it is Sunday, and I am doing this over. As you can tell, I am in development, but today was a day. Sundays is ding the bell, and this is where we're supposed to put a problem on the table with some solutions. This was all a great idea at 9 this morning. You see, on Sundays, my dad, when he's well enough, my sister takes them for a drive, and they go to New York Mills to see my mother, um, who passed away in June, and, um, and then they go over to my twin brothers, and it all went as planned. Um, and my twin brother sent me an Easter dinner back, which was fantastic. And at 9.35 this morning, my, um, as some of you have happened to you, a phone call comes. I usually answer the phone. Uh, Harry's morgue because usually when you get a phone call at my dad's age it's usually somebody calling to tell him that one of his friends died so I just solve that by saying Harry's morgue so I can relay the message on who died next um, it's a long story so this time I did not answer that thank God that way and I'm not going to get into it because some things are just better left unsaid However, it was very upsetting news, and I was by myself with just my thoughts with my mother, and thank goodness I was, because I was able to digest it, and it just derailed my whole plan for telling you about my chickens. So I hope that when those things happen in your day, I thought to myself, do I do a mulligan? Do I just stop my business? What do I do? And you know what I did? I went and I just started cleaning because that's what we do in our family. We just clean, sort things out. And so what I will do is I will tell you in our family on Sundays, we normally put the problem on the table. Well, what I did is I just cleaned the whole kitchen. In our family, we start in the kitchen. In my kitchen where I live and with my son and I, my pulpit, I have a barber chair, so I just always bring a, my toy barber chair with me just to have my pulpit with me handy. But my mother, she, in her kitchen, she always had a cook stove. And my mother told me that when you are not sure um, what's going to happen in your child's world or what your response should be, first step is to go to your pulpit. And that's where, as a mother, you learn how to preach it, teach it, and repeat it. So I had to think of the lesson first. I had to sort it out in my mind. I had to think about the problem. It was going to be a huge problem. Very sad news. And I just thought and thought and thought. So I cleaned and cleaned and cleaned. cleaned. I had my pulpit handy just to, just to think about what how, how I was going to handle this problem. So in the book... I am an author and I go over the pulpit. So I wanted to start with that today to say, when you have a problem, where do you process your solutions? So for us and our family, you have to pick your pulpit. So that's where I want to start today. Um, in my blog, my podcast, and in my digital home, I hope to have seven days of balance. And today, thank goodness for Sundays because problem sometimes you think you have one to bring to the table and then BAM one gets tossed right in there and then I also will be including 
topics called love more and those are the ones that you throw in when you need a little extra and today when it was all said and done I was able to call my son we were able to share our emotions with reckless abandon all by ourselves in our home and we sorted it all out with love and love more compassion and then we decided what are we going to do to love ourselves more through this pain and he came up with some great ideas for himself and his home and I came up with some ideas and we decided that going forward today we're going to say less about our problem and try to love each other from a distance even more so he went and did his things that bring him peace and love and then I went and found my monkey I would like to introduce you to somebody that brings me joy. Now I grew up in New York Mills, hence my favorite sweater, it's very old. And for those of you that are not familiar with New York Mills, it's a very famous town, thanks to one of my very best friends and to Mr. Lund Boats. And, but in New York Mills, we are neighbors to Wadena. Now, I don't speak very highly of Wadena, mainly because they are very tough in basketball. However, they are one of my favorite towns because they had a monkey in the window. And when I was a little girl, um, when we had a challenge, uh, somebody pass away or somebody who was sick or somebody that just needed a card, mother would load us up, take us to the Ben Franklin, and there she would sit at the counter well, we would have a chance to go and pick out our card. So I am encouraging the people that view my website and my future page to really enjoy the process of finding the right card that says the right thing. And I'm hoping to be a promoter of writing letters because sometimes it is proper to say something. And for my mother, she found just the right place. Our Ben Franklin had a monkey in the window. And we took our time picking out the right card. And my mother always knew if we went too fast, we'd bring the card over to her. She'd look at it and she says, now did you put enough thought into that choice? And we knew we hadn't. So we went back and then we found just the right card and we got to go over and see our monkey. And you know, when I bought the opera house with my twin brother, I sometimes wonder, now that I look back at our history at the 1907 all original opera house in Staples, when I look at the history there, and I, rem and I looked at the circus that happened in 1913, I sometimes wonder if those monkeys that performed up there with the circus, if they didn't escape, and end up at that Wadena Ben Franklin. There's so much more to tell you. And this monkey here is kind of a special one. I call him Harry Miller after my favorite teacher in college. And you'll hear about him in the book. This monkey came from the Rainforest restaurant at the Mega Mall where I took my son. And I had met the manager there and I met her because in college I had to come up with a project where I had to invent a fictitious restaurant and I called it the Rain Tree Restaurant. And I told that manager how I had imagined a restaurant just like that rainforest. Well, somehow that story made it to Hawaii with one of the marketing people there and she sent me one of their first monkeys, a little promo piece that they had so this is my Harry Miller monkey, and I love him. So I hope that you enjoyed my monkey story because tomorrow I take my monkey with me because he's part of my play. Because I'm a playwright, I'm writing a play, and we meet on Mondays. So this is how I spend my days. When my son was young, I come in here and I act out my scenes in my little play play kit. 
So this is what I spent the rest of my afternoon doing was working on my scene that has to be read tomorrow at my playwriting class. So when you have a problem and it happens on Sunday and you had a plan to discuss it over chicken talk with chicken ribs and shrimp on the table and then all of a sudden you get a phone call and it's just the most unbelievable unspoken news. Now you have two problems. This is when you need to find your pulpit and you hopefully will pick the kitchen because there's many things to do in the kitchen. I chose to clean and I don't have my barber chair because it's one of the only chairs in my home that I find comfort in sitting. So pick your pulpit, think, work, and take your time finding those solutions. And sometimes you might have to call or phone a friend like I did with my son. And him and I sorted it out. We shared our emotions. And I think the mulligan is a do-over. And then we decided, you know what? I think we have some pretty good ideas and that's just to say nothing. And we said our prayers together, him and I, and we sent it up. And then we picked to love more. And he picked his things and I picked mine. And I always go with Harry Miller because he just brings me a lot of joy. So I ended up having a strong night. And for me, the strong M works great. Mother, mom, mission. Just give me a mission and I'm happy. So what's your missions in life? I'd like to hear more. And if you have a mission, next week I'm going to be spending Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and giving you a sneak peek at some of the questions I'm going to hope to be asking you on our podcast. My first guest is going to be next Thursday, I'm hoping. To, I'm going to figure out this podcast, and I'm going to upload it, and download it, and stream it, and beam it. <laughs> it's going to work. And I'm going to have so much fun. But today, let me tell you, thank God for Sundays. Because I did it. And I want you all aboard my missions. And I hope you enjoyed tonight. And I hope I see you tomorrow. Because tomorrow is Mondays, arts and culture. And that is worth coming back for. All aboard. Ding the bell. And I'll be here tomorrow.